remember last year? There's about 10 or 20 of you here from last year. All right, anyone from Ohio? Uh, yes, I'm Arsenio Hall. Tonight I'm slumming with you, yes. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me my pen back. Who has it? Oh. Yeah, that's nice. Oh. Oh, right on. A little, a little skirt there. Can I have the pen? Thank you, sir. Don't send pictures of your mother to me again. Anyway, last year, I made you a promise that there would be hammocks and bean bags on the floor tonight. And I said that the year before. And I'm consistent, because two and a half, three years running now, I've fucking lied to you. So, you know what? I was thinking, I was standing back by the bar watching Ween fucking kick out the hard jams, treating it like a fucking seminar. Oh, I, I see that we have a mixed reaction in the crowd. Now, you see, you, you go home and you put on your Edie Brickell record. And you go home and you put on your, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are they foisting on to you today? Oh yeah. Rattle and hum, you put on rattle and hum. And you're there, and you're there with, with say you're a guy, you're there with your, your dick in your hand and you're trying, to, you're trying to get off and you realize that these bands just don't get you off. It's like their whole life, these bands are encased in condoms. They were born in condoms. Safe songs about safe, Safe sexism. They can, they can ride their motorcycles better than they can play their guitars. Out of nowhere, out of a total musical vacuum, out of total darkness, comes one, 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 one ray of light. And it's fucking ween. And Now I know there probably are a few of you who don't like Ween. My suggestion is that you start liking them now, so years from now, when you all are shelling out $25 each, gladly, to go see them at the Spectrum, you'll be able to say, Oh yeah, man, I was kicking back in Trenton City Gardens about eight months ago when they were small before their rocket to stardom. I remember I saw them kicking, you know, you fucked up and tick. Yeah, I, I remember. I, I bumped into one of those guys once. I mean, I touched Mickey Ween, you know? I, I actually talked to him. And you see, there will always be detractors. There will always be someone to deny true genius. Every once in a while, the band I'm in, the old woman Rollins band we play here and there. And uh, a couple of years ago, we were in Europe playing this festival in uh, Belgium. And it's, it's us sandwiched in with it. We got to play with the butthole surfers. That was great. The Pixies were there. And then we get, you get shanghai by all these, these horrible, snotty-nosed, emaciated, pale, never-been-fucked bands. The Wonder Stuff, Nitzer Ebb, these little morons in bike shorts, the House of Love, they should just go like suffocate themselves now. And you, you just wonder, you go through this tent, they have the tent with all these little stalls for all the bands. And we come in and everyone goes, oh look Ron, there's the roadies. And we're, we're not the roadies, we're a fucking band. And we see all these beautiful women over on this one in this one corner, we're like, yeah, yeah. And, and would you just be let me do my thing? <laughs> okay, it's gonna be one of those nights tonight. So, you go, damn, man, I sure would like to, you know, jump off a building and land on that girl, damn. I wonder, I wonder who's in there. And you're thinking, it's probably Ween in that fucking tent. Yeah! But no. The tent flap 
cup opens and there's all these like, you know, your, 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 Europe's version of, of LA silicon women kind of going, <laughs> and out come the wonder stuff, these flouncing Nellies with acoustic guitars like, <gasps> And there's all these beautiful blonde women behind them throwing rose petals into the air. And when that shit becomes your only musical alternative, you will get down on your filthy knees and crawl to the altar that is weaned. So, do yourself a favor and worship them now. It always helps if you take the pain first. Relax, it hurts in the beginning, and then you come to, and then everything's okay. It's just a prick, girls. It's just a prick that gets you into all the trouble. Just a little prick. And then another little prick, followed by another little prick, followed by a whole bunch of pricks, and they all are just like me. A Labrador Retriever on two legs.